Welcome to the 15th lecture on calculus. Today we will discuss comparison test. So suppose you have two series of real numbers and there is a relation between these two series and you know the convergence or divergence of one series. Then you can conclude the convergence and divergence of the another series. We will see two comparison tests today. So here is the first comparison test. To test whether a series converges, sometimes it is useful to compare the series term by term with another series whose convergence is understood. So the theorem says that suppose you have two series of real numbers and the terms of both the series are non-negative. That means uh, x sub n and y sub n both are greater than or equal to 0. And suppose there is a relation between these two series. What is that? So nth term of the first series that is less than or equal to the nth term of the second series for all n. Then you can conclude that if the second series is convergent then the first series that is also convergent. And what is the contrapositive statement of this? It says that if this series is divergent then that implies that this series that is divergent because the first statement says that if this is true then this is true. So its contrapositive statement is that if this is not true then that should imply that this is not true. So second statement it is the contrapositive statement of the first statement. So it is just enough to prove the first statement. So let us prove that. So suppose this series is a convergent series and it converges to this real number L sub y. And we should recall that a series is convergent if and only if by definition the sequence of partial sums is convergent. And what is the sequence of partial sums? So you consider this series and suppose S sub n this is the sequence of partial sums of this series. So then what is Sn? Sn it is just sum of the first n terms of the series. Okay. So this, this series is convergent by definition it is equivalent to say that this sequence it is a convergent sequence. So we want to prove that this series is convergent. So it is equivalent to prove that this sequence is a convergent sequence. And since this, this is a series of non-negative terms, so this sequence it is uh, a monotone increasing sequence because this Sn it is less than or equal to Sn plus 1 because what is Sn plus 1? It is just Sn plus extra term you are adding x sub n plus 1 but, but this term it is something non-negative. So therefore, there is uh, so this nth term that is less than or equal to n plus first term. So this sequence it is monotone increasing sequence, and we want to prove that this sequence is a convergent sequence. So it is enough to prove, or it is equivalent to prove that this sequence it is bounded above sequence. So let's prove that this sequence is bounded above. So you consider the nth term of this sequence that is S sub n. So it is just sum of the first n terms of this series. And then you use this relation. So since ith term it is less than or equal to ith term of the second series. So you have uh, inequality here. Okay. And then so this is the sum of the first n terms of the second series. And this sum, this finite sum, it is less than or equal to this infinite sum because you are just adding some non-negative uh, real numbers, okay, infinitely many non-negative real numbers, okay. So if you add some infinitely many non-negative real numbers to this finite sum, you will get this one. So this inequality, it is obvious. But you know what is this infinite sum? So since this series it is a convergent series, so the sum of the series that we have assumed it is some, some real number. Okay? So ultimately we are getting that nth term of this sequence it is bounded above by this fixed real number and this thing holds true for all n. So thus this uh, sequence of partial sums it is bounded above 
and of course we have argued that this is monotone increasing sequence so therefore by the theorem proved in lecture 14 this series it is convergent because so since this is a bounded above sequence and it is monotone increasing sequence so this is a convergent uh, sequence and it converges to the least upper bound okay so since this sequence is convergent we have that this series is convergent so thus we have the proof of this statement and the second statement follows from the first statement okay and here is an example of comparison test so let's prove that you consider this series so suppose p is a real number then you can consider this series and this series we call it p series so whose nth term it is 1 by n power p so p is some fixed real number then you can consider this series this series we call it p series and this p series it is convergent if and only p greater than 1 so that we will prove later but at least here we can verify that if p is less than or equal to 1 then this series it is a divergent series so how to prove that we use comparison test so since p is less than or equal to 1 we have n power p that is less than or equal to n why because n power x this is uh, so if you consider this thing as a function of x so this is uh, monotone monotone increasing function so if you draw the graph then you can see so p less than or equal to 1 that implies n power p less than or equal to n and then from here you can get this inequality so 1 by n that will be less than or equal to 1 by n power p or all n and of course both are positive real number okay so both are greater than 0 so you know that this series is divergent okay so then by the comparison test you can conclude that this series is divergent so you can see the theorem here so you have inequality so this is your first series whose nth term that is less than or equal to the nth term of the second series so if this first series is divergent so if this one is divergent this one is divergent then that implies that second series that is divergent so here this this first series it is divergent that implies that this series that is divergent and what is the sum of this series so we can conclude that sum of this series it is just uh, it is just infinity okay so since this is a series of positive terms so if you just consider sn so where sn it is just 1 by so it is the sum of the first n terms of this series and then since this is a series of positive terms so this sequence it is monotone increasing strictly increasing sequence and since this series is divergent so of course this cannot be a bounded sequence so it is it is not bounded above and since it is increasing sequence not bounded above so uh, supremum of this sequence that should be uh, infinity okay so this sum this summation the sum of the series that is uh, infinite and here is the second comparison test so we call it limit comparison test so suppose you have two series and you consider this this the ratio of nth term of the first series and the nth term of the second series so it is just xn by yn then if you take the limit limit n tends to infinity xn by yn suppose this is some l so of course it can be infinite or it can be some finite real numbers okay so this theorem is saying that if l lies in between 0 and infinity then one series is convergent it is if and only if the another series is convergent and equivalently if one series is divergent that it is equivalent to say that another series is uh, divergent so we will give the sketch of the proof but the statement is saying that 
suppose you have two series and you consider this limit this is limit n tends to infinity xn by yn then if l lies in between 0 and uh, infinity then this first series is convergent if and only the second series is convergent equivalently the first series is divergent if and only the second series is divergent why it is equivalently because divergence it is just opposite to convergence okay and other two statements we have that if this limit l it is zero if l is same as zero then the second series is convergent that implies the first series is convergent and if l is infinity then the first series is convergent that implies the second series is convergent so let's give the sketch of the proof we would not give the details here so since limit n tends to infinity xn by yn this is l real number so suppose l is some real number okay so then this l it satisfies epsilon n condition for this sequence okay so that means for every positive real number epsilon there exists a natural number n such that beyond that natural number n all the terms of this sequence lie in this range so l minus epsilon that is less than xn by yn less than l plus epsilon we want to prove this um, statement so suppose l lies in between 0 and infinity okay so then you can choose so this one i am proving then you choose epsilon some positive epsilon such that l minus epsilon that is also positive so if l is some positive real number you can always choose a positive epsilon such that l minus epsilon that is also positive so in this case you have this inequality and then that implies that so both l minus epsilon and l plus epsilon these are some positive real numbers okay so from here you can see if you just consider this inequality if you just consider this inequality you can say xn less than l plus epsilon this is some fixed real number times yn for all n greater than n so after certain stage uh, there is a relation there is inequalities so after certain stage the nth term of one series that is less than some fixed real number times nth term of uh, the other series so there is a relation between this and then from here you can use comparison test so comparison test says that if summation yn exists if this series is convergent then that implies that summation xn that is also convergent okay so at least we have this implication in this way to get the other implication what you do you just consider this inequality okay so in that case you consider this inequality okay so from here you will get l minus epsilon times yn it is less than xn okay so then again you apply comparison test then if you consider this inequality so this thing holds true after certain stage so you can just uh, neglect the first finitely many terms okay so then this inequality from this inequality you can conclude that if xn convergent that implies that this l minus epsilon yn it is convergent and that implies that since l minus epsilon it is some fixed real number so one can conclude that yn is convergent okay so this is the sketch of the proof of this statement and how to get this one so proof is basically same so in this case l is 0 but the, in that case 0 satisfies epsilon n condition okay so uh, in this case so this is 0 but you, you will have this inequality right so xn divided by yn so xn by yn that is less than epsilon so again from here you will get xn less than epsilon times yn okay so if you consider this inequality this holds true 
after certain stage. So from here you can conclude that if summation yn this series is convergent that implies that this series is convergent. How to get this one? So in this case also you uh, so this l it is just infinity in that case you know what is this so this limit is infinity that means for any positive real number so for every positive every positive real number g there exist n such that this xn by yn it is greater than g for all n greater than n so after certain stage you have this inequality and then you consider xn it is greater than g times yn so from here you can conclude that if summation xn exists then summation yn exists so ultimately you will get that if this series is convergent then this series is convergent so i have given the sketch of the proof maybe you can write the details but uh, if you have difficulties you can omit the proof also so but you should remember the statements so this is limit comparison test and we should see an example so we want to prove that this series is convergent okay how to prove that we use limit comparison test and if you consider xn that is same as 1 by n times n plus 1 so in the denominator you have n times n plus 1 so then this series this series we have studied already so in lecture 11 we have proved that this series is convergent because its nth partial sum it is just one can recall that it is 1 times 1 by 1 times 2 plus 1 by 2 times 3 plus so on 1 by n times n plus 1 so ultimately you will get 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 and this thing converges to 1 so the nth the sequence of the nth partial sum it is uh, it is convergent sequence and it converges to 1 so therefore this series it is convergent and the sum is 1 so anyway so this series is convergent that we will use and then we want we want to prove that this series is convergent so you consider xn is this one and yn is this one and you know the convergence of this series and you just see what is the limit of limit n tends to infinity xn by yn so this is just limit n tends to infinity of this ratio so ultimately you will get limit n tends to infinity n by n plus 1 okay so limit n tends to infinity n by n plus 1 so this is one can see it is 1 and you can see it is 1 by 1 plus 1 by n and you can uh, use the relation between limits and algebraic operations so you know that limit 1 by n that is 0 so ultimately you will get 1 by 1 so it is just 1 anyway so this limit it is it is uh, some real number and it is lying in this range so it is lying in this range 0 less than 1 less than infinity so you have this first statement so 1 is convergent that implies that other sequence another sequence that is also convergent okay so since this series is convergent that implies that other series that is summation 1 by n squared that is also convergent and that's all i will stop now